Hello and welcome to episode 37 of the Roma Revolution. I'm Ben and coming up on today's episode we have the second leg of our Coppa Italia semi-final against AC Milan and that is then followed by the last 16 first leg of the Champions League against Chelsea. But before all of that, we have now reached 100 subscribers on the channel. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support of the channel. Of course, if you are new and not yet subscribed, then do please hit that subscribe button below. Hopefully we can continue to grow like we have been. I hope you're enjoying the videos as much as I'm still enjoying making them. And as I say, thank you all for your continued support of the channel. But without further ado, let's get stuck in to today. And quickly, since you were last with me, we played one silly at game. We beat Hellas Verona 1-0, a Pedro goal on the 37th minute. We were then able to see it out, dominated the game pretty well, disappointing that it wasn't more than 1-0. But results have gone our way and we are now three points clear of Inter Milan in second place and four of Juventus. So Serie A is still looking good at the moment. We just need to continue the form. Obviously, Milan, today's opponent, sitting fourth in the league. We're taking a one-all draw back to the Olimpico from the first leg in the Coppa Italia. And the team we're looking to do it with is this. We've got new man Dragowski in goal. A back three of Mancini, Upamecano and Basia. Miranda and Florenzi are the wing-backs with Camavinga in behind Pellegrini and Riccardi in midfield. And Thiago Almada keeps his spot in behind Pedro up front. If we can win this one, it would obviously be our second Italian Cup final as Roma manager. The first one, we did lose to today's opponents, AC Milan. Atalanta or Juventus will wait us in the final if we can get through. Atalanta taking a 1-0 lead back home with them there. Let's go and show the media that they've been right to back us up. As always, we have faith in the boys. The assistant is off to the tunnel, and here we go. Can we reach another final? It will be our fourth final in four seasons as Roma manager. That is a season, a final each season that we've reached. It's been a pretty good record on that regard. Obviously, we've only won one of them, but if we keep getting into the finals, there is always potential for us to be winning more. It was a fairly even game at the San Siro on the last episode, of course. But we want this to be a bit more dominant from our Roma team. And as things stand, it's looking fairly even again. But we have a chance. Pellegrini with the ball across. Pedro at the back post. Heads in. And we're 1-0 up in the 25th minute. Pedro at the back post. That, I think, is his fourth goal for us in about six or seven games. He's been a really good signing since coming in in January. His 18th goal in all competitions. A really nice whipped in ball from Pellegrini. Pedro at the back post. Nods home. And we are up in the semi-final. We take the advantage. But here they come. William in the middle. He's looking for Hakan. But Florenzi does well to beat him to it. But it's only as far as Theo. William. Theo Hernandez now on this left-hand side. He's got the ball across. Hapo at the back post. It's hit the post and gone wide. We've got away with it. The first real chance we've seen for AC Milan. And we've got away with it. Another one coming here. Mancini does well to head away. And Miranda has a chance to send Pedro for a counter-attack. Can he beat his man? He does. Can he score? He does. What an individual effort from Pedro. His second goal of the game. It's Roma 2, AC Milan 0. 3-1 on aggregate. Miranda picks out Pedro. He's got loads to do on this left-hand side. He cuts inside and slots it past Donnarumma. What a goal. What a first half we've had. It's Roma 2, Milan 0. And are we going towards the final of the Coppa Italia? Juventus have levelled the tie there. And Cristiano Ronaldo with an early goal for them. So it's all to play for in the other tie. But here, if we can just hold on, we're 3-1 up on aggregate. 2-0 on the night. Two fantastic goals from new man Pedro. We're going to ask for us not to get complacent. But we're also going to give Pedro a little bit of praise. He's been great in the first half. He's still confused. It doesn't matter. Let's go out to the second half and see if we can have a repeat of the first. We're going to ask for some passion to begin with. It's been a fairly good, well-rounded performance so far. 
Can we just see it through for the last 40 minutes? It's Pellegrini with the ball in. Up for Meccano. Pedro at the back post. He was offside. He missed anyway. But a chance for Pedro's hat-trick there. It wasn't too far away. And we're building from the back. Up for Meccano. Plays it to Mancini. Back to Upper Meccano. Trulagowski in the goal. The first we've seen of him. Basia. Camavinga. Riccardi. We're knocking it about nicely, but it's all in our own half. But we've gone forward now. Almada to Pedro. Can he do what he did earlier? He goes back to Camavinga and Pellegrini. Almada in the pocket. Camavinga sprays a lovely ball out to Florenzi. This is a really well-worked move if we can get something from the end of it. We can't. Or can we? It's falling to Almada. Camavinga. Out to Melanda. It's been a long time coming if we're going to get a shot. Pedro at the front post. Oh, it's hit the bar. We kept the ball really nicely. It fell to Pedro in the middle of the area. He was at a bit of a tight angle, I would have thought. But he's hit the bar. But a really well-worked team move. Keeping the ball beautifully. Atalanta have equalised against Juventus. At the moment, it's us v them in the final. And dare I say a potentially winnable final if that's the case. Florenzi struggling on the right. We'll get Buer on for him. Almada also struggling in behind the striker. So Zaniolo can come on for him. The cut man, of course. We've seen him do it so many times in the Champions League. He's not usually coming on when we're winning, though. But can he just give a performance that sees this tie to its completion? We're going to ask for some creativity. 20 minutes to go. 2-0 up. 3-1 on aggregate. we got a good two-goal cushion, but we just need to make sure we keep hold of it. Boo with the throw, then. He looks for Zaniolo, but he can't quite get there. Riccardi, however, does. And he's got Pellegrini with him. Camavinga. Back to Mancini. We're keeping the ball nicely again. Can we do something with it? Miranda on this left-hand side. He puts the ball across for Pedro. Oh, he should have had his hat-trick by now. He's hit the bar again. He's looked really lively up front this afternoon. This potentially is his best game that I've seen him play for Roma so far. A really good ball in. Pellegrini this time. Pedro at the back post. There's his hat-trick. Another Pellegrini ball in, another Pedro header. It's Roma 3, Milan nil on the night. Pedro the star, he's deserved his hat-trick. He's had a really good game. Donnarumma perhaps should be doing better, but we've come to the Olympico with that one-all cushion and we've dominated AC Milan in the game. And it's seen us through, by the looks of it, to the final of the Coppa Italia a competition we obviously haven't won as Roma manager, but can we do it this time? There it is. Game over. Pedro the hero. Man of the match. Hat-trick. Best game I've seen him play since we signed him. Roma 3, Milan nil, 4-1 on aggregate. And hopefully we can continue that form into the Champions League game against Chelsea, which I will see you for in a second. One result to bring you in between the two the games then. We maintained our three-point lead at the top of City Hour with a 2-0 victory over Torino. Pedro on the score sheet once again along with his mate Alessio Riccardi. So we're taking some pretty good form into today's Champions League game against Chelsea. Can we pick up a really decent win at the Olympico to take back to Stamford Bridge? The team we're looking to do it with is this. We've got Dragowski in goal, a back three of Mancini, Upper Meccano and Basia. Miranda on the left, Florenzi on the right with Camavinga in behind Pellegrini and Riccardi with Thiago Almada once again in behind Pedro up front. Can he keep his scoring form going? He's been on fire in the last few games. If he can, then we've got a good chance of taking a fairly decent lead back to Stamford Bridge. Chelsea, however, are on flying form. They've got a lot of their young stars still knocking about. James, Tomori, Mount, hudson Adoy, and they brought in some fairly decent men to go alongside them. It's not going to be easy, but... What is easy in the Champions League? The board are expecting us to just get past this stage. Obviously, we want to go and see if we can repeat the heroics of last year and win another Champions League title. Here we go then. We're off in the last 16. Can we win the game? Can we take a fairly decent lead back to Stamford Bridge? It's going to be a tough tie but hopefully we might well be able to pick something up at home. The key, I think, is keeping a clean sheet. If we can do that, then obviously we have a chance of also nabbing away goals at Stamford Bridge and having that 
play in our favour. However, 20 minutes of not a lot. Two teams that are probably seeing each other out. I think they, well, the last time I checked, they are about fifth in the Premier League. They might well be higher than that now, looking at the form they've gone on. But a game that at the moment is looking fairly even. Both sides blocking each other out. No one really getting any shots away. The possession fairly even. And as we approach the 40th minute mark, we haven't seen anything of the game at all. And it looks like at half time, it might simply be Roma nil, Chelsea nil. As I say, I probably would take something like a nil nil. If there's no away goals, then that really does play into our favour going back to Stamford Bridge. We are, however, going to get a little bit aggressive. We're far from pleased with what we've just seen. Can we have another second half performance like we've seen from this Roma team? in games gone by. We're going to ask for a bit of creativity as well. A couple of players struggling out there. Florenzi won. He's come in for Boer on that right-hand side who played against Arena. Boer just not quite looking fully fit, so I didn't want to risk him, but he is sat on the bench, and it looks like his time may well come. And as I'm speaking, we are approaching the hour mark, and Florenzi isn't playing any better. So it is time for David Boer on this right-hand side. And alongside him, we'll get on Mr. Champions League, Nicolo Zaniolo. He seems to perform well in these games. We probably do just need a goal. Can he be the man to come on and provide that for us? We're going to ask for a little bit of passion and we've got the first highlight of the entire game. It's fallen to Pedro who has a shot. It's well blocked. And that was the first we've seen and Pedro had a really good effort. He was probably at quite a tight angle. Not his easiest chance, but it's really well blocked. And the first highlight, potentially the only highlight we're going to see at the game based on how things are going. 15 minutes to go. Pedro... And Riccardi looking like the men who are struggling. Riccardi could come off. Let's get Paledes on. A bit more experience potentially in these games. See if he can do a job for us. He'll switch over with Pellegrini. And we'll ask for a bit of creativity with 15 minutes to go. Just to see if we can nab a winner in the tie. As I said, 0-0 I probably would take. I'd take a no away goal for Chelsea. It gives us a chance if we can nab something of an away goal at Stamford Bridge. We're going to demand a little bit more. We've probably not quite been as good as I'd hope us to be. But can we pick something up in the last five minutes or so? Four minutes of added time. We've seen one highlight from the whole game. Are we going to see any more? It's looking unlikely. A bit of a bore draw. But the key thing here, I think, is that we've kept a clean sheet. And it therefore will be all to play for back at Stamford Bridge. We're still going to get assertive. We're not pleased with what we've seen. But I think the key might well be that we haven't conceded a goal against a Chelsea team that did come out looking like they were quite an attacking force. So we're hopefully we might well be able to pick something up at Stamford Bridge and continue our Champions League journey. And of course... That is going to be the next episode. We'll play the games in between. We will miss the intergame, unfortunately. But we'll be back for Chelsea and Atalanta, perhaps. We'll play either Atalanta or Perugia with Chelsea next time. But that could well be a massive game. 0-0, all to play for going into it. And Eduardo Camavinga will be suspended. So we're missing one of the big men. But can we do it? In the meantime, I do hope you have enjoyed today's episode. And if you have, please leave a like down below for me. If you're new or not yet subscribed, then please do subscribe to the channel. And again, thank you for getting us to 100 subscribers for those of you that already are. And once again, thank you all for coming along and watching.